Hey all, it's me, Megara, this one here. So, I'm going to be testing for food and makeup. Sorry about the lighting. It's not going to get better for a while. It's January, so lighting's going to be a bit off. It's 20 to 6 in the evening, so in a few months, nice and sunny out. I can do filming in the evenings a bit more easily then. But for now, I've got to suffer. But I've got a full face of new shit in my lovely zebra bag. I'm such having shit on my face. Now I have got a mix of very cheap and very expensive because I've got Barry M Primer. This is the Unicorn Essence. Unicorn Beauty Elixir. It's a unicorn one. Look at this. Hoping you can see it. And I've also discovered, so this is the same day that I filmed last week's video. I've also discovered I've had something on my contact lens, which is why my eye has been irritable recently. So it's got a little dropper thing. So I'm going to do. This has been set in my room for literally ages and I haven't got around to testing it. And I thought instead of investing in a new primer, I'll just use one that I've had set in my room for ages. I'm just going to rub this in with my fingers. I just don't think I've used this, I can't remember using it. If I use it on my channel, call me out on it. But everything else I'm pretty sure I haven't used. And for my skin nice and tacky, which is always a good sign. You don't want, well, I like my primers to be make my face nice and tacky, which is good. The foundation, I've got foundation and concealer. The, I know none of this stuff is actually new new, but it's new to me. So I've got the MUA Pro Base foundation. I think this is in 101, which is, the second light is showed because I'm... I make snow look tanned. Okay, this has got a spatula thing. I can deal with the spatula thing. Look like this. I'm hoping I haven't gone like massively too fair with this. Now I'm gonna look like Casper's friendly neighbor ghost because I'm never sure what shade to get. Okay, I probably could have gone a few shades darker, and I'm really sorry about the lighting situation. Let me turn this down a bit. Does make it any better? I'm gonna add a little bit more and hope that this works itself out, because it's not looking great around about now. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's just that this foundation doesn't like my skin, because I've got dry skin, didn't like the primer, but... It's not looking the best, it may also be the lighting. I'm not too sure. Which doesn't bode well, does it? So the concealer, I have MA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer in 101 again. This is a tiny little doe foot. But not much product seems to be coming off in each time I dunk in, which worries me slightly. I'm gonna try something a second, be right back. All right, I think this is better, slightly better lighting. Yeah, this is better. I'm zoom you in a little bit more. Sorry about them, I've seen the lamp, but. Okay, for £2.50, it's not a bad concealer, but I'm gonna go with another layer just to see if it does layer up, because it's not looking great. Okay, it does cover the spot when I tap it in, but you can sort of see Okay, when I tap on my nose, the foundation comes off. And the more I tap, the more the foundation comes off, which ain't good. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop quick while I'm ahead because that ain't going well. I've gotta say, I do not like that foundation and concealer combo. It just doesn't quite sit right on my skin. And then when you try and build it up, it just kind of takes that layer off like on my nose. So I'm hoping you can see on my nose that it is just red, despite how much I try and build it up. Which is incredibly frustrating. So next I have got, not that one, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Light, what are these called? Matchstick Trio, because I've seen a lot about these, but I've never tried them. I, I heard mixed stuff about them but I wanted to try them myself. And dear God, this concealer is creasing bad under my eyes. So they look like this. They are magnetic. So I've got a 
blush, a contour, and a highlight. Well, it's a blushy, it's a highlight. It's a pinky highlight. I'm gonna go in with this concealy thingy. So I got them in the lightest shade, and I've got to say, if you're any fairer than me, that concealer stick thing will not work, but that is good coverage. It blends in like a dream. And that is honestly an instant improvement on what was on there already. Just now for the contour stick, which is in amber. It looks like exactly the same thing. Only a nice cool shade. Yes, I'm using this very sparingly because I have no idea how much this is going to blend. And yes, I have just tried to contour my nose. Well, to me, that seems alright. It's not... You would have to build it up a bit. To get it to be really strong. If that's what you're after. I can see why that wouldn't be for everybody, but... I'm okay with it. And I'm going to go in with this pinkish highlighter. It's actually quite a pretty colour. So I'm going to tap that in. Again, it's not a particularly strong highlight. I didn't seem it at the moment. I'm going in with it again. I'm going to try it on my finger. It is a very nice, very subtle highlight. Definitely something for a no makeup makeup day. I'm not saying that it's worth the price necessarily and definitely needs warming up so it'll probably work better on a warmer day in the summer rather than freezing my ass off in the winter but i like that kind of naturally glowy look it gives you it's powder and it is the fenty powder in butter this is a pro filter powder so i'm gonna go in with my tapered brush oh it does smell exactly like the foundation then it gets a bit more and put it all over my face. That's it all down I'm beautiful. You can still kind of see a bit of the glow when you look from the glow stick. But I like that. Not a fan of how translucent my lids are looking right now, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. I think brows are next. I've got the Revolution brow pencil in medium brown and I'm worried that it's going to be a bit too warm for me. I've got spoolie one end to comb through my quite frankly groom looking brows because I haven't got them waxed yet or tinted. And on this end we've got a teeny tiny pencil and hopefully this isn't ginger. Okay, so the main problem with this has been this bit, or I'm just trying to thin them up a bit because I'm not the best at my brows, especially when my brows are doing whatever the hell they want to do. But they are at the moment. I'm going to leave them at that. It's alright, it's nothing special, it is like three, four quid, I don't know, I haven't checked. Not bad if you need in quick need of a brow pencil, bit hard doesn't blend through as nicely as others I've used and isn't too... it's soft but it doesn't seem to want to blend too well good in a pinch what's next? bronzer and blush and all that jazz this is a Patricia... Patricia? Patricia Bright Revolution Moonlight Glow Face Palette this is in... well it's a lighter one it might be Moonlight Glow as a shade. This is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to go in with this colour here on this lovely tapered brush. And then on a lovely diamond brush like this, I'm going to go in with this peachy blush colour. It's probably went in a bit too much there, but you win some, you lose some. That's nice. I'm not going to use highlight yet. I'm going to do my eyes first, and for that, I've got the lovely Jaclyn Hill, this is not a new thing, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill one, the Dark Magic palette. The one that's had a lot of issues regarding it, it looks like this. It's pretty. And I got it for a tenner in TK Maxx. 
So first of all, I'm going to go in with this shade here called... I'm sorry, I'm deflected. So this taupey brownie shade here. I'm just going to tap into it and see what it will do. Because who knows whether I've got a shit copy or a good copy. Or a shit version or a good version. This so far is working pretty well, but you can't really go wrong with a taupe, torp, whatever you want to call it. I am having to layer it up to get some pigment to it, but that might just be me. I'm going to then go in with Mojo, which is this colour right here. Oh, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go in with Busted, which is this lovely bright blue. Well, navy blue. I'm going to tap into it and see what happens when I tap it on my lid. I'm going to go back in with shh, just to kind of blend it, because this is not going the way I intended. it. Because it's a beautiful shade, but... I'm going to go in with Poof, which is a creamy shade at the end, which is not very pigmented. I'm literally going to go in like this. There's not much of it, so hopefully... Yes. Very pigmented shade, yeah. I'm just, I see why people aren't amazed by this because I did only play tennis, so I'm not judging it too harshly, but I get why you were mad. So I'm gonna go in with Poof shh, and Mojo, tap off the excess, and go in underneath. I'm gonna go a bit more Poof and no, Mojo and shh. I'm gonna add a touch of busted right in the outer bit just to kind of bring it all together. Then I'm going to use Power Cut, which is a shimmer right here. That is beautiful. I'm just going to tap that right in the centre of my eye. Now that is stunning. You know what? That shimmer may have just saved this look. I really like that. I mean, the mattes weren't great, I'm not gonna lie, but the shimmer. And for mascara, I've got the Snapscara by Maybelline. So what does this one claim to do? Easy on, easy off mascara. So let's see what this can do, what kind of- ooh, that's an interesting looking brush. This mascara is solidly okay. I get why it's not really talked about anymore. I remember Maybelline were really pushing it, which is why I picked this one up today. But it is definitely a wispy lash kind of moment. I don't hate it, but I just don't love it either. You can see it's kind of done something for my lashes, but it's basically just coated them black. Which if you want a mascara that you can wear to school, because it's school's hard and you about makeup, which is not something I would know about because mine really wasn't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just okay. Now, well, I'm gonna go back in with where the Patricia Bright palette's got to. Get my highlighter brush and go in with this. Okay, it's powdery. That does not always mean it's shit though. I only have a plain normal highlighter brush. Because this is just a small It has got a lot of kickback though, I will say that. That's lovely and glowy. Now, this is a bit I'm worried about. I got a pale lipstick. And I swatched it in the store, I thought it was alright. But now I'm nervous. This is the Fenty Beauty. Stunner lip paint in unbuttoned. It looks like this. And I'm worried it's going to be too pale. Okay. It's pale, but it's not too pale. I think I could just about get away with this, particularly with like a nice lip gloss and a lip liner just to really make it stand out a bit more. But I can deal with this. 
I've seen much worse concealer lips in my time. I grew up in the age of concealer lips. Let's go. Yes, I have incredibly fine hair if anybody is curious. If you want to know how I keep my hair healthy and thicker, let me know down in the comments because I can arrange that. So this is what it finished off looking like. You've got to say, lips, great. Powder, great. That um, blush trio, blush contour, highlight trio, great. Brows, alright. The shimmers in that palette, alright. Powder, um, mattes, eh. Don't rate the conceit or the, or the foundation. Primer, I can't say I hate it. Can't say I love it. Felt great on my skin, that's all I'm gonna go with. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite is. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. And subscribe to see more great con content like this because I'm trying very hard to come up with some kind of upload schedule. This week, I've got the week off, so I'm gonna try and film like three or four videos. So if I'm wearing the same outfit, like more than one video in a row, it's probably because I'm on a mass filming day like I am today. So I've been two. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you again hopefully next time. Bye.